There is some big Facebook news today, guys. Who here is on, on Facebook? <laughs> really? Wow, OK. Well, if you don't know this, um, Mark Zuckerberg announced that Facebook is working on adding a dislike button to its websites. Yeah, well, and I, for one, am very excited that finally, <laughs> finally, people will have the ability to be negative on the internet. <laughs> I mean, it's about time, right? You know... <laughs> is this something we need? Like, we really don't need a dislike button. The internet is already one gigantic <laughs> dislike button. Like, if you go on YouTube right now, there's a video of a cat who raised a family of orphaned ducklings, right? It's adorable, and it has 237 thumbs down. <laughs> Thirty-seven people gave that a thumbs down when, let's remember, they had the option of doing nothing. <laughs> like, what part of that video is it possible to not like? Even if you don't like cats, there are baby ducklings. <laughs> Everyone loves baby ducklings. They're the Beyonce of the animal kingdom. <laughs> right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't really know what's happened to Facebook. Like, from what I remember, Facebook used to be all about poking. Do you remember that? <laughs> you remember that, Raji? It was, it was, you were just poking. You'd poke someone, and then they'd say, ow, and then you'd say... <laughs> and then you'd be like, hey, you, want to get a drink? And then you'd never hear from them again. <laughs> you know, but now there's so much negativity online, they've had to create new terms for it. Like, the word troll, right? Trolls used to be little monsters that lived under a bridge, right? <laughs> now they're horrible monsters who live in their mum's basement. <laughs> You know, but uh, reportedly, Mark Zuckerberg believes that the dislike button will allow people to show empathy. You know, like when someone, you know, you know, posts something like, oh, my dog of nine years just died, and you'd be able to go, oh, I dislike that. <laughs> the problem is no one talks like that in real life. <laughs> no one turns up and goes, oh, my dog died, and they go, oh, I dislike that. <laughs> Like, like, you can't divide life into like or dislike, you know? Some things are equally great and terrible at the same time. Like, if someone posts a picture of the fried Oreos they're about to eat at the county fair, I like that it's delicious, and I dislike that I wasn't invited. <laughs> Craig. You know, why just stop at like and dislike? Like, we need, more bot we need more buttons to sum up the broad spectrum of emotions that we feel while we're on Facebook. For instance, I'd like to see an eye roll button. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We're like, oh, my God, Janine is still posting about breaking up with Derek. Eye roll. <laughs> you know? Or... Thank you. Or how about, a, how about a whatever button for when you just don't care? <laughs> You know, like, when someone posts a picture of their lunch and you can be like, yeah, we've all seen food before, whatever. <laughs> or a mm-hmm button, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, this is a button you can use when your friend posts a status that's just full of it. Do you know what I mean? When someone posts, like, six days straight at the gym and you're like, mm-hmm, then, <laughs> then why'd you just follow Funyuns on Facebook, bitch? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I think there should be an It's Racist button, right? <laughs> which, which you can use for any status that begins with the... When, everyone you, when anyone uses the phrase, I'm not racist, but you can just go, It's racist! <laughs> it's racist! OK? And, fi like, and finally, I think they should add a button for when you're stalking an ex online, right? <laughs> so every time they post a photo, you can click the You Got Fat and That Makes Me Happy button. <laughs> Even if they didn't. <laughs>